New Weapons Channel, Russia is developing a new 5th generation MiG stealth deck fighter. The MiG Corporation is developing a low visibility, fast and multifunctional 5th generation deck fighter. The project is at the stage of computer modeling. The first prototypes will be presented in the coming years. The aircraft are designed with extensive use of stealth technology. Like other machines of the fifth generation, this fighter will be able to fly at supersonic speeds without afterburner, equally effectively destroy air and ground targets, and the developed artificial intelligence will tell the pilot the best decisions. Designers are also working on a variant with vertical takeoff and landing. Exact tactical and technical characteristics are not known yet. It is expected that the fighter will be no larger than the MiG-35 and will operate in close conjunction with an unmanned aerial vehicle weighing more than 10 tons within the concept of a faithful wingman. The drone gives target designation, conducts reconnaissance, provides communication with other machines, conducts electronic warfare. And all this with minimal human involvement. Both prototypes already exist in the form of models and were first unveiled at the MOX 2021 air show. Two engines, aerodynamic scheme, duck with front horizontal tail. Externally, the machine resembles a MiG-31 interceptor and a prototype of the fifth generation fighter MiG-1.44. The prospective drone model resembles the Scud Strike drone. The UAV in the form of a flying wing has an unusual tail fins an inverted letter V like the Turkish Bayraktar TB2. It is assumed that the drone will take off from the aircraft carrier deck following the fighter. But how, is not clear. The new weapons channel reminds that today the Russian Navy has only one aircraft carrier, the heavy cruiser Admiral Kuznetsov, equipped with a ram. However, the designs of other aircraft carriers envisage a catapult, which makes takeoff much easier. It is possible that the fighter is being developed specifically for the new ships. Since the carrier capabilities of the Russian Navy are relatively low, there was no acute need for a fifth-generation deck fighter. Nevertheless, today's fleet aircrafts are aging and will need a decent replacement in the near future. The Navy now has more than 40 shipboard machines. Most are serving on the Admiral Kuznetsov. Apparently, the experience of their operation is used in the creation of the new MiG. The main deck carrier of the Russian fleet is the heavy Su-33. The Navy has 19 of them. From the basic Su-27 are distinguished by increased thrust-to-weight ratio for short takeoff from the deck, reinforced landing gear struts, special piloting and navigation equipment, folding wing and horizontal tail consoles to reduce the size. In service since 1998, they underwent a baptism of fire in November 2016 in Syria. The sailors also have 19 light MiG-29Ks and 4 combat training MiG-29 Cubs. These machines had enhanced corrosion protection of the airframe, improved wing mechanization, installed a landing hook and multifunctional pulse Doppler onboard radar Jacques M. Armament, guided missiles RVVA and R-73 for air combat, anti-ship X-31A and X-35, anti-radar X-31P and corrected bombs CAB-500 Kerr. Like Su-33, MiG-29K first tested in combat conditions in Syria. Russian aircraft builders are experienced enough to build a deck plane from scratch, even with vertical takeoff and landing. In the early 1970s, the Yak-38 attack aircraft was developed for aircraft cruisers. Its uniqueness lay in its propulsion system, which consisted of a lift marshal and two lift engines. Yak could land on the deck even in a serious storm. Specially for the attack aircraft, the external removable cannon installation was designed. A double-barreled 23mm gun with a firing rate of 3,400 rounds per minute. In addition, the Yak-38 had guided and unguided missiles as well as free-falling bombs. Yak-38 had a small combat radius of about 200 kilometers. It had no onboard radar, so the attack aircraft could conduct air combat at a very short range. Finally, the plane had a high failure rate, out of 231 produced aircraft, it lost about 50. 
What Russia still lacks experience in is the construction of long-range carrier-based early warning aircraft similar to the US E-2 Hawkeye. They significantly increase combat capabilities of the wing. They detect targets on the far approaches to the aircraft carrier and give target designation to fighters. Without them, the deck pilots have to rely only on the radar stations of the carrier and escort ships. Everything about the world's largest boat, the shark, is at the end of the video at the link, see you soon.